This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to learn the basics of Robot C programming. We're going to learn how to make your own file folder to save files in, and also we're going to talk about pseudocode. The first thing I want you to do, and I want each student to do this, um, but mainly once you start programming as a group, you're going to use one main computer. Make sure it's close to an electrical outlet so we can plug up the batteries and things like that. Right click, choose new, and I want you to make a new folder name it Robot C Programs. Click off of that. Okay, I already have one. It's going to replace it. So I'm going to say no for that. Okay, I'm going to change the name a little bit so I don't replace my files. But you'll have a new folder. Once we save, we're going to save everything here. We'll talk about that. Um, next, I want you to go to the Start menu. Click All Programs. And you're going to have to hover through here there's one called Robot C 4.x, that's the newest version. Click that, and we want the one for VEX Robotics, not graphical. We want Robot C for VEX Robotics 4.x, and these have all been updated on your computers. Click that, it's going to load. Okay, as you can see, it's loading. Yours is going to look a little bit different than mine off the bat. Okay, so it's going to open this PLTW start page. Um, you all are going to have to go to robot platform types, and I want you to change it to natural language PLTW. That's for Project Lead the Way, which is um, who we're affiliated with to have this curriculum, and I want you to choose that. So platform type, natural language PLTW, click that, and it'll make a check mark. Then yours should look like mine. Okay, so now this looks like any other program you've used. Um, it shows you updates and things like that. I've updated everything for you. Go ahead and hit new file, and this is what it's going to open up with. Okay, task main is always going to be there. You see these two red brackets. When we get into programming at a later date, all of your commands for the robot are going to go here, and that's uh. We're going to use all these icons on the left that I'm hovering over. You'll do some drop and drag, and we'll get to that at a later date. The first thing we're going to do today, we're going to learn pseudocode. And what this is, this is going to be green text, and it's going to... I want you to always assume you're programming this and going to show it to your mom or dad, and they don't know how to program it. So with the pseudocode, we're going to put several things in there, and basically we're going to do some instructions on what's going on with the program, okay? So to start that, you have to do a backslash and then an asterisk, so shift 8. You can see it turns green. This lets me know it's going to be a multi-line text. Okay, so hit enter. I like everything to be spaced out. Put your name. And when you're working as a group, put all three or the two of you, put both of your names. Okay, put an enter. We're going to talk about our spinning sign. So this is the name of the program we're doing. And then today's date, April the 20th, 2015. And now we're going to go down and talk about what's going on in the program. The way we're going to program it at first, when program starts, and I'm just typing this, sign will spin slowly. I'm going to say at speed 17. Okay. The reason it's spinning slowly is so customers can read the sign. Okay. Sign will continue to spin until button is pressed. Once button is pressed, sign stops spinning. Okay, so we're done with our commands. Now watch what I do. I'm going to put the asterisk and then a backslash. And you see how task main turned blue? So now we're ready to program. Okay, this is just some basic commands. You're going to get more detailed when you make some uh, different programs. The spinning sign is very basic. 
eventually I'm going to allow you to go back and you can put an LED light in there and you can add another sign or another button that could make it spin the opposite way okay so right now we've done our pseudocode this is a requirement okay your name the name of the program you're doing the date and then some an explanation of what's going to go on when I come to check off your programs this has to be there I'm not even going to watch it run okay you have to put this in first write your pseudocode before you ever start doing the actual programming because this is easy and you can always look back to this if you forget where you're at or want to see what should be going on this this needs to be in chronological order of what's going to happen okay the last thing I want you to do for today is do a file save as change this okay on the left here you want to find your desktop click desktop find that robot C programs you have okay double click that make sure it says that here and name it spinning sign and you can see I'm spelling mine a little bit different because I've already wrote a program I don't want to overwrite that okay we hit save you only do a save as the first time you save it if you go in here and update it, if you change any of your code like if you go back in and add a light okay let's say we did this and LED light will be on as sign spins I've changed that program I don't need to do a save as now I'm just gonna click save here okay and then I wanna make sure go back to my desktop which is the only thing I don't like okay your should open up in that stay in that folder there robot C programs hit save and I'm gonna replace it okay so that's the basics pseudocode the next video we're gonna do some of this natural language I'll give you an explanation of that show you how to set up the robot and actually um, you're gonna start doing some code where we'll make the robot run okay so look forward to that um, that's all for today.